Welcome everyone, my name is Michael Kelly and I'm here today to talk about our Shark Series grinder pumps. We're going to give just a general overview of the various pumps that we have here and then we're going to step in to talk about a little bit the applications, where you want to use these pumps, where you don't want to use these pumps. So we're going to start first with the features and benefits of our 803 grinder pump. So this is a half horsepower 115 volt grinder pump. This is one of the smallest grinder pumps available on the market as far as electrical requirements and horsepower requirements. The great advantage of this pump is most homes out there that have a sewage pump generally use a non-clog or solids handling pump. Those are more affordable up front. The issue is they're less reliable. So if you have a solids handling pump that is beginning to clog or have issues with, this pump very easily drops in to replace those. So this will plug into a standard outlet it comes with the float switch, so it has its automatic operation. And you don't have to spend the extra money to upgrade any of your electrical circuits or anything else. So a great drop-in replacement option. Also great for a new install as well. So as we move further down, we get into our 820 grinder pump. So this is where we begin to bridge the gap from residential to a bit of light commercial. So some of the main differences on this pump is one, first, it's a dual voltage pump. So if you're a service provider or a wholesaler, you want to minimize the number of pumps that you can carry, that's a great advantage of the dual voltage because this pump will work with either 200 volt, 208 volt power, or 230, 240 volt power. Now this particular pump also has a finned housing. So the advantage of the fins is the elimination of heat. It creates convection, pulls the heat away from the pump. So all the pumps that we have here on display have oil-filled motors, also solid cast iron bodies, all of those are great methods to keep a pump running cool. The fins is just a little added feature that helps keep it running even cooler. So that's what allows us to transition more into the commercial applications, which are a little bit more demanding and sometimes a little bit higher heat buildup. Uh, the main advantages of this pump also is the higher pressures and the higher flows. So this is, again, great for those commercial applications where you need a little bit more flow, but you also need a little bit more pressure. So for pressure sewer applications where the pressures fluctuate, your flows may fluctuate, this is a great solution. Now also talking about pressure sewer, we offer a progressing cavity model here. In our 810 and 815, we have both a one horsepower and a two horsepower option. This here is our two horsepower option. And the advantage of this pump is the tremendously high pressures it can produce. So this pump produces 240 feet or a little over 100 PSI of pressure. So for those very high pressure applications, this is a great option. It produces relatively low flow, so you get a predictable output. But if you have a commercial application, say where you need some additional flow, then you would go back to the centrifugal. So again, these centrifugal pumps are perfectly acceptable and commonly used in pressure sewer applications. But if it's strictly residential, light commercial, where your flows are lower, and this particular model is acceptable for those flow rates, this is generally the better solution for pressure sewer. Now moving further down, we get into probably what's arguably the most robust grinder pump on the market. So this is our auto reversing 840 grinder model. So the advantage of this pump is that it alternates direction each time that it cycles. So for cycle one, this pump will operate in the clockwise direction. The next cycle will operate in the counterclockwise direction. The advantage of that is it reduces the chance for ragging around the impeller or the cutter disc, which increases its reliability. The way we do that is we have this auto reversing feature here. This is a symmetrical design of our impeller here. So you can see this one can rotate in either direction without losing any performance. Additionally, on the bottom, we have a symmetrical grinder and cutter. So this can operate in either direction as well. Now one thing that's standard across all of these grinder pumps and all grinder pumps manufactured here in Louisville, Kentucky, is we use an axial cutting mechanism. So the advantages of an axial cutting mechanism is that it has a raised edge with a sharpened leading edge. So this creates a scissor-like cutting across this cutter plate, but the raised edge also helps sweep the waste and the debris away from the cutter, essentially cleaning itself with every pass. So it's cutting off a small fragment and then clearing the rest away from the intake. So that prevents any rag or any sort of material coming over and binding up and potentially clogging this pump because it's constantly cleaning itself. And these spin at the same speed of the motor, so these will spin at 3450 RPM. So you're getting 
a tremendous amount of cuts every second. Alternatively, what a lot of our competition uses is a radial cutting mechanism. So the difference in these is you have a fixed cutter plate and inside of that cutter plate, you have this cutting mechanism that as it rotates, it's grinding, grinding against these little grooves inside of this cutter plate. Now the issue is these grooves will slowly clog over time. And as they clog, you lose pumping efficiency and increase the chance for clogs. The other issue is it's not constantly cleaning itself. So if a rag or another piece of material comes over and completely binds, blinds off this cutting mechanism, it can many times lead to a clog. These type of cutters also have more difficulty starting up once they've shut off. So if you're in the middle of grinding something, the pump shuts off. When the pump is called to run again, there's a greater chance that these will lock up. So again, all of our pumps use the axial cutting type, which is preferred over the radial cutting type. So now that we've talked briefly about some of the features, we're gonna talk a little bit more about the applications. So where grinder pumps are best suited is where you're pumping raw sewage to a municipal treatment system or gravity collection system where reliability is paramount. So solid handling pumps are more prone to clogging than a grinder pump. So if you're worried about clogging or you have a current application where you're having a lot of clogs, a grinder pump is a great solution. So they grind those solids into a very fine particulate, they pass through the pump and eliminate a lot of those cloggings. Even more reliability comes out of the, the auto reversing pump, again, reducing the chance for ragging or any material getting bound around this. Now, some applications where you wouldn't want to use a grinder pump is first dewatering applications. So for sump applications in a, in a residential home or a light commercial building, you don't want to use a grinder pump. Also for stormwater, so the larger commercial municipal type dewatering applications, you don't want to use a grinder pump. So a lot of people come to us and say, well, I'm getting a lot of trash in my water collection or in my storm basin. I want to use a grinder pump so I can clear that trash and push it further down the line. The issue is, is these pumps are great at tearing up typical sanitary waste, such as wipes, rags, and feminine products, and those sorts of things. But when it comes to harder materials, such as plastic bottles or wood materials, it's a bit more challenging for these pumps to clear those because these pumps have to be able to grab onto that waste. And those harder materials will actually bounce off rather than grabbing on. So that waste will still remain within the basin. So for those stormwater and dewatering applications, you typically want to stick with the higher efficiency solids handling type pumps. Another application where you do not want to use a grinder pump is in a septic application. We do not recommend grinder pumps anywhere within a septic application, either pumping to a septic tank or pumping your effluent to your drain field for a few reasons. The biggest reason is the point of an aerobic treatment unit or a septic tank is to separate the solids, the fats, the oils, and the greases from that effluent. So you can see here, we've got three distinct zones within the septic tank. So down here at the bottom is our sludge layer. That's the solids that fall to the bottom. Up top is your fats, oils, and greases. The only thing we want going to our drain field is this clear zone here. This is the effluent of the septic tank that will flow up into your baffle and out to the drain field. Now, if you use a grinder pump before your septic tank, you're creating a suspension and you begin to blur the differences here. You begin, begin to uh, get more solids, fats, oils, and greases suspended within this clear zone, which allows those solids to get up into your baffle and out to your drain field. So what a lot of people don't realize is your drain field is also a tra treatment system. The soils treat the water the remaining 50%. So if we're sending solids, fats, oils, and greases, we're potentially plugging our soil and putting more work on that soil, which could lead to a failed drain field, which can be a very, very costly repair for the owner of that drain field. So by using solids handling pumps or ideally gravity flowing into your septic tank, you can maintain those separations, which will prevent those solids from going out to your drain field. Now, some people want to use a grinder pump on the other side of their septic tank because their effluent pump is clogging. You definitely do not want to use a grinder pump there because if your effluent pump is clogging, it's because solids are getting through your septic tank, which is not ideal. You want to address the issue upstream of your effluent pump. Because again, for the same reasons, if you start grinding those solids and sending them directly to your drain field, you're going to lead to a plugged field and effluent ponding in your drain field area. That should give you a good general overview of our Shark Series grinder pumps, where you want to use them and maybe where you don't want to use them.